All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in Bangkok's Old City, one of my favorite areas in the whole of Bangkok. Now, you would have seen if you've watched my last couple of videos that I have just spent the last few days up in Chiang Rai in Northern Thailand. And oh my God, am I missing the food already? So today, I have found for you an unbelievable Northern Thai restaurant located in one of Bangkok's most famous temples. The other thing you'll be spoiled for choice for in Chiang Rai is coffee. So I want to show you my favorite coffee shop in the whole of the old town. We're going to be checking out Wat Saket, the Golden Mount. In my opinion, the best temple for you to visit in the old town of Bangkok. And of course, we're going to be getting that unbelievable Northern Thai food. Let's go. So you're going to start your day here, Jedi Coffee Shop, one of my favorites, if not my favorite coffee shop in the whole area. Amazing views out the back, as you're going to see in a sec, but more importantly, very, very good coffee. So very nice spot, very minimalistic. Look at that, beautiful. But the main reason I come here, apart from the coffee, is the views out the back. All right, so let me show you this out the back, guys. So you've got a lovely little area here, a couple of seats, just overlook the canal overlook the fort and the temple. I mean, you could actually be in Chiang Rai here. I mean, this does not look like Bangkok. If you Google image Bangkok, you've never been here before. This is probably not what you're expecting. Um, so for me, perfect. So over here, you've got Loha Prasad, you've got the old city wall, the fort, some old town classics. See, I've been spoilt for a few days up in Chiang Rai because it's such a slow pace of life. So quiet, the town. I absolutely loved it. But there are little pockets like this in Bangkok where you can come unwind by the water, hardly any people about. And this is exactly how I like to start my day. Find a coffee shop similar to this on the water, relax, unwind, sets you up really nicely for the day. Find somewhere nice to go for something to eat. Walk around a temple, perfect day in Bangkok. So that's what we've got in store for you today, guys. What more do you want? All right, let's go. All right, so the restaurant in question, Huan Lanawadi, is actually located in the temple ground. So it's before you even get up the stairs, on your right hand side, if you come in from the entrance where I've just come in, you're gonna find this restaurant. All right, we're in, we're in. I wasn't sure guys, I wasn't sure if, uh, if we were gonna be able to film, but um, these lovely ladies. They're all from Chiang Mai. That's why they're all smiling. That's what they were yim yim. All right, menu is looking unreal. We're just going to get the big hitters, I think, guys. So fermented pork wrapped in a banana leaf with an egg. Okay, how is it? How is it? Yum. Ting kai. 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 Okay, Paleo. Come on, Cap. Come on, Mark. Cap. Oh, cow soy do I know? Okay, I'm going to get a bottle. Oh, oh, say, Crom is on. Need Piao, man? Piao. Piao. She's invited me to cup cow with her. This is how you know the lap's good because she's eating a lap. Only in Thailand would someone invite you into the kitchen and let you eat their staff lunch. Like, can you imagine walking into a restaurant in London and saying, can I have some of that food? No chance. All right, guys, so I'll show you the restaurant. Pretty simple open air, very, very airy. We are literally sitting inside a temple. If 
when you go up what's I get the golden mount you want to be dressed in traditional tight outfits you can just rent one from here if that's your thing it's not my thing but if it's your thing 359 baht and then look where we're sitting we are sitting we can hear the bells going off at the top of the temple nice peaceful quiet unreal this is what it's all about for me guys simple restaurant nice and clean good food what more do you want all right so order number one all right so let's have a look at this can all right so we've got cut more fried pork we've got some more yar Vietnamese sausage, say ua, which is Chiang Mai sausage, herb sausage, some nam, which is fermented pork. We've got an array of steamed vegetables and our dips, so nam plik ong, which is tomato and pork dip. And we've got nam plik nom, which is a roasted green chili dip. Wow. All right, so this is called jin som. So sour pork, I guess some green chilies, some garlic, a runny egg. Can't really see this very well. A runny egg and that pork and that pork and rice. All right, so I'm gonna try this first, this jin som, because I've never actually had this before and I wanna try it before the egg gets too cooked. So I'm gonna get a piece of the egg. I don't really want that fresh garlic. Piece of the egg, one of those Little chilies. Pick lao. Pick udon. Isan chilies. Let's go. Mmm. Ooh. Wow. That. That is worth coming down here alone for. Super, super sour pork. And I know, guys, fermented pork doesn't sound great to a phalang that's never been to Thailand, but... Mm, that is so interesting. Super, super sour. Really, really, really salty as well. You've got that little bit of spice coming through from the... Or a little bit of heat, I should say, coming through from these tiny little rocket chilies. And these are nice, they've got some flavour, they've got a bit of fruitiness to them. You've got that richness coming through from that just cooked egg. I did just have a bit of the raw garlic. Not a bad touch. Mm. Now that, that I would order again. All right, next up guys, we've got the la. So this is nothing like the Isan la. This is minced pork with kriang nai, which is different parts of the pig offal. So we've got liver, heart, uh, intestines, etc., etc. That's in a spicy mix of deeply long pepper, makwen, which is like a sort of Szechuan peppercorn, coriander seed, etc., etc. Chili. Oh, we've got some pork fat in there, all topped off with coriander and spring onion. I mean, I just love, love, love the presentation here. Get a bit of the liver. This one doesn't. I said intestine. This one doesn't actually have any intestines in. It's just liver and mince. The maquen as well, you get that sort of, it, it doesn't give you that, it doesn't give you that sort of numbing mala that the Sichuan peppercorn will give you, but it does give you like a little bit of a tingle and it's very, very sort of fruity and floral. It's got such a unique taste. I've said this about every dish so far, that's worth coming back for. That is fantastic. It's the maquen that I'm liking in this the most. So much crispy garlic as well. Sometimes they're a bit shy with the crispy garlic. Just, if you haven't had this dish, this is a must, whether you're in Bangkok or Northern Thailand. For me, and I'm sorry for all my Isan brothers and sisters, this has got to be better than lap in Isan for me. Although I do love that too. So yeah, I'd call this more of a soup uh, with poached shredded chicken fried crispy garlic, mushrooms, 
pak chi, which is uh, coriander. And this spice mix is chili, mak wen again, which is the sort of Szechuan peppercorn cousin, deeply long pepper. So it's basically the same spice mix as in the lap, in a lovely, soupy salad. I am actually glad that um, sister bought me out the uh, sticky rice for this bad boy. So I'm gonna try the soup. It's not really a soup. I keep calling it a soup. It's a salad because it's a yum, but it's not a salad in Western terms. It's a, a warm salad soup. Same flavour profile as the lab, but it's got a real warmth and earthiness to it. Mm. Because obviously they're using a bit of the chicken stock that they boiled the chicken in or poached the chicken in. But those same spice mixes, again, that pak pel, the, I think Vietnamese coriander is the name in English. It's like a sort of, sa I call it soapy herb because if you eat it on its own, it actually tastes a bit like soap. But literally one of my favorite herbs on the planet. This one for me, I've said it about every dish. Could, this could be dish of the day. Just because I don't see this in many Northern Thai restaurants, you have to go to a proper restaurant to get this. Not a Khao Soe shop won't usually sell this in Bangkok. You've got to go to like a big sort of family style restaurant. Beautifully tender chicken, fall apart, perfectly poached, shredded chicken. Love the bite from those mushrooms, that little bit of extra texture. You get a little bit of earthiness, but this dressing slash soup, warm dressing slash soup. Super, super savory, perfectly spiced. This, again, worth coming down here for. All right, guys, next up, I'm gonna attack the canto. Um, I'm not gonna lie. She told me that I ordered enough for three to four people. Um, so I'm getting pretty full now. I'm gonna try one of everything, and then I'll probably wrap the rest up and take it home. Um, so with the canto, you just kind of take what you want, Take some vegetables, get a little bit of the chili dip. I prefer Nampik Nom, but Nampik Ong for this one. For any Westerners that haven't been to Thailand or haven't really eaten Northern Thai food, I could almost convince you that that is a bolognese. Mm. Just tomato pork, a little bit of shrimp paste, some salt. Very, very simple. Right, I've got to try to say oa because every Northern Thai restaurant for me rests on their say oa. And I like to have mine with a little bit of namplik nom. Say oa. Broken record here, but just screams Thailand again. I'm not sure if they fried that or grilled that. I think they grilled it. Mm. A personal favourite of mine. Right, cut more. Look how fluffy and crispy that pork skin is. Nampik nom. This is a perfect one. Just have in the middle of the table. Share with everyone. You've got your nice array of vegetables there, just freshening everything up. I find that with Northern Thai food, it's very, very fresh. Feels very healthy. That is a top dish. Top, top, top dip. Imagine best chili dip in the world, best salsa in the world, so you could probably call it a salsa in the West, with the best pork crackling you've ever had. All right, next up, we're gonna go fermented sausage with just a little bit of cabbage, I think. You can do whatever you want here, guys. You can eat it with whatever you like. It's the same pork that was in the, the mock, the wrap. So super, super sour, but it's not cooked. The cooked one, I like it. It's a little bit of a sort of crisp to it. Uh, slightly caramelized. That is essentially raw. Um, again, super, super sour. Love that. 
actually can't fault a single dish in here. How so? I think I might have over ordered here. All right, guys, let's check the cow soy. Cop and carb. Wow, very, very dark red color. This, my friends, is a good sign. All right, let's dress this up. We're gonna put a little bit of lime juice in. Pick dong, pickled mustard greens, our raw shallots, and we'll stick that. We'll stick that chili paste in as well. I love these fat noodles. Little thin, crispy ones, a la Chiang Mai on top. Oh, look at that. I was gonna say spoon test with the chicken, but this is Pakiev. This is chopstick test. Look at that, fell off the bone. Okay, very, very interesting. It's not often times I've had a cow soy with star anise. Mm. I tell you what, I mean, these guys are famous in Chiang Mai because they have a restaurant in a place called the Granary Resort. And this is one of the few places where you're going to find a cow soy tailored to Chiang Mai taste rather than Bangkok taste. Mm. That is fantastic. And when you think of where we actually are, which is slap bang in the middle of a tourist temple, basically. It's not for tourists, it's for Thai people as well. But I mean, it's a tourist attraction. Um, I would never usually eat in a place like this. I would usually give this a complete wide berth. But oh, I'm glad I stopped. All right, guys, that has taken me straight back to Northern Thailand. Absolutely fantastic. Lam tate, lam kanat. Yo, yo. Lost my train of thought now. Oh, temple. We're going to walk up the temple. Um, I'm not going to talk too much around the temple because I'm not going to give you too much history and stuff. I just want to show you about, don't go anywhere because you're not going to want to miss the view from the top. It is absolutely incredible. Do you know what? I said it wasn't that busy with tourists. It is absolutely packed. But most of them are Thai tourists. So um, for some reason that doesn't feel as touristy. Now they do actually have a coffee roaster on site. Golden Mount Coffee. So if you want to do everything in one place, this, Sawadee Khab, this is your spot guys. I mean, the views are getting good. We'll wait till we get to the top. So when you get to the top, guys, do not take off your shoes. One of the few temples that you don't take your shoes off. You walk in, they've got a little temple bit inside, but we're going right up to the roof straight away. Just as I said, there's no tourists. It's 50,000. Aren't these going up at once? All right, guys, so I've rushed a little bit through the temple as the battery is about to die on the camera. I wanted to show you this view. If you want to see the whole temple, I've got another video coming on my other channel, on my family channel. Uh, so Finley's going to walk you around his favorite temple, but for now, yeah, I just want to show you these views. Show you a nice little end to the day. All right, so we've come to the end of our video. I'm sure you will agree that even if you don't have any affinity towards temples, you're not really into that sort of thing. Doesn't really matter. You can come down here, have a great day out, amazing views, amazing Northern Thai food, amazing coffee. And as I said at the start of the video, what more 
do you want. Remember guys, if there's anywhere that you want me to go and check out, leave a comment in the description box below and I will try to get that done. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.